Melissa with Help Club for Moms. I'm here to share another organizational form out of our wonderful Holidays with Help Club. I'm co-creator of the best holiday season ever organizational planner. And so two of the topics that we're going to cover today is our cleaning compass. And I'm going to show you what a printed version looks like. It's nice and pretty. You can actually print these out from our website. And they are in your book, each one of the forms that we have, which there are nine in total. So this is just the second and third of more to come. So we're going to start with the cleaning compass. And I'm going to go over the basics of the cleaning compass, but I do want to encourage you to or let you know that feel confident that we've written all the instructions, a nice instruction guide for each one of these tools. So we're going to get into it now. So what we've done is we've, in the cleaning compass, we've broken up the house into different directions of focus. So what we're going to talk about, and I'm in the bathroom today because it seems to be the area that gets or needs cleaning the most outside of the kitchen. So those two are the heaviest. But what we did was we broke down the house into five different areas. So let's say we're going to be taking the, the, um, the bathroom, which are the wet spaces. So it could be your bathroom, your laundry room, or any other room that you have that falls in that category. Feel free to adapt these to your home as well. But we're, what you're going to do is each day, so you write down the direction of focus, the area, and then you write down each day what you would like to accomplish in a task for that area for cleaning. So we've broken it down to three different categories, your Focus 15, Fundamentals, and the 5 o'clock Pickup, which you're going to be familiar with because we talk about this a lot in our mom tips on caring for the home. But the Focus 15 was an amazing idea that I got from Emily Barnes years and years ago on setting your timer, however you want to do it, on your phone. But this does help your kids be a part of this well. And you can beat the clock if you want to. But whatever task you're going to do, you'd get it done within 15 minutes. And you would be amazed at how much you can get done in 15 minutes, even cleaning the blinds or the baseboards. The fundamentals are the everyday things that you really don't have to think about or time um, they're just, they're things that you have to do maintenance wise, maybe cleaning the, you know, uh, swishing the toilets, you know, that has to be done pretty often if you have a house, if many kids in the house. And then of course the five o'clock pickup. So what we're going to do is we're going to now jump into the next form, which is delighted to decorate. We're doing this one with the cleaning compass because they're, they're structured the same way. We divided them up to the area of focus and with the holidays coming up, Hopefully this will help you be a little more organized and also get the family in on decorating the house. We've broken it up to decorating which room you're going to decorate. You can actually write in the labels that you want um, and then also things to purchase. We find that things get broken in our boxes and everyday photo and holiday photos were an idea that we thought might be helpful for, for taking your camera, going around the, the house and taking photographs of the house before you decorate and after you decorate. In this way, the family can help you undecorate and decorate next year. If you want to label the boxes, and we'll be giving you different storage ideas later because we have another awesome tool for you to use. Um, but this will be helpful for the, to get the family involved. So those were the ideas behind the Delighted to Decorate. One of the scriptures that comes to mind when we're talking about caring for our house or doing anything within our home, and I know a lot of you don't really care for cleaning, but it's important, and believe me, your future in-laws, um, daughter-in-law or son-in-law will thank you for te teaching your kids how to clean. But Colossians 3.23 says, whatever you do, work it out with your, with your whole heart as working to the Lord, not to human hands. So keep that in mind as you're teaching your children and as you're doing it yourself. Because if you don't like something, it's not that much fun. But when you think about you're doing it as unto the Lord, it may help a little bit. And I did have this caddy here just to show you how to maybe stay a little bit more organized in your cleaning compass. Um, when you're getting, if you have everything in one spot, it's helpful for the kids too because you can tell them, hey, go in the caddy underneath the kitchen sink or the laundry room sink or the um, bathroom sink and pull out whatever item you need. So those are just some helpful hints. I hope they help you. But remember, most of all, if you haven't gotten your Holidays for Help Club book, do that now. You can go to Amazon or our website and get yours for $11.99.